When you play a note, you can hit it gently at the beginning, where you just use your diaphragm and you let air start the note, or you can use your tongue as a gate to give it a harder start. Listen to the difference between the two. This is the one where it's just gentle, without the tongue. with the tongue tap. As an artist, you want to be able to pick the red paint, the yellow paint, the orange paint. T t t t t t t t t t t tongue, tongue hits the roof by the hard palate. That little ridge behind your teeth, that's your hard palate. But the, the tongue goes to that and t t t and that gives you Now, depending on how much air you give it, you can make it really hard or gentle. This is a gentle tongue tap. Very gentle. Hard. And now, the legato, the smooth without the tongue tap. A lot of players, that's all they play. They don't, they don't use the tongue tap to start at all. Most of the time, I'm going to start a note with a gentle tongue tap. I mean, it's very seldom that I play a note that doesn't have some shaping of the note. Now, when I play, every note I play gets shaped tonally as well as its start. Like... The gentle tongue tap. Okay, so, <clears throat> again, this is a pretty simple thing. We're just talking about the start of the note. This is without any tongue tap. The beginning of the note really isn't very crisp. almost like a bandoneon or something. And then here's with tongue taps. And when you go with a tongue tap, you can go with a very gentle one, but slow to faster. Hear the difference. versus just no tongue tap. Tongue tap, gentle. Like an oboist, like a clarinetist, like a loudest or flutist, you want to shape each and every note to make it exactly the way that you want it for the artistic impression that you're interested in. Another fun one is tongue rolls. I don't use that very much, but sometimes.
What makes music? Variation. Variation in pitch, rhythm, tone, style. Variation, variation. The more you know, the more you can vary.